Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmadov, and today I want to show you how I can use a new Cypress command size session to not just create a session for a user to log in, but to actually prepare data, and if the data is stale, to recreate the data again. Here's a common scenario. I have a chat application, and in order for me to chat, I need a couple of rooms. So how do I create rooms? Well, before each test, I clear the rooms, and then I make rooms one by one. So I have a task in a plugin called make room, just takes the name of a room, attic or kitchen, and creates it. I'm also using a timeout of one second to simulate an expensive API call that takes a while. So this before each takes at least three seconds. And that's why the test takes 3.7 seconds on average, right? 3.76 in this case, for me to create the data and then register a new user, log in, and assert there are two rooms. If I didn't have size session, if I had to speed this test up, I would notice that every time I rerun the test, well, I'm recreating the same rooms again and again. And I don't want that. I could do this differently. Before each test, I could ask by running side task, and I have another command called get rooms in my task, and then I get the list of rooms from the database. Now, here I can say if rooms, if I don't have two rooms, then I would create them, right? If I don't have rooms, that is called attic, okay? So I'm checking the number of rooms and the titles of the rooms to make sure that everything before this test starts is prepared. In this case, it's much faster. Right, you can notice that the test runs in 0.7 seconds because those three commands that take three seconds are not running. That's great. But what if we have to do it again and again? This before each callback mixes finding the rooms, checking if we need to recreate them, and then recreating them. And notice there is no way I can recreate them from scratch from the UI. Of course, as I showed in other videos, I can open the DevTools rooms. Sometimes if the DevTools doesn't open, then I have to do it. I could use now command called task and say clear rooms, for example, myself. And in this case, it will be recreated. But it's inconvenient. So here's a better way where we can recreate the rooms if set up incorrectly or in a different way from expected. So we can do a validation. And we'll have a way to clear rooms from the GUI. Let's separate what we have here from creating the rooms. So we want to separate creating the rooms from the validation. So first, I'll create a function, let's say setup. And you can give it a better name, obviously, but I'm just going to move these commands right here. Now let's create a function validate. And all it will do is do what we've done right here. Only instead of doing a predicate, we can fail the task of a chain of tasks. The length is not two. Okay. So if rooms have not length two, it's good. Then we can say rooms and we can use more assertions to validate the title. Attic and the second one should kitchen. Okay. Perfect. So we have two functions. Both use Cypress commands, and now we just have to use them together. So here's what we can do. We'll say size session, which is a new command, and then let's say has two rooms. We'll give it a proper name. In this session, all we're interested in is having the data set up on a backend with two rooms. So that's why I call it two rooms. Now, all we need is the setup, and think of this, at first we'll run the setup. And the validate is not just a function because we have to pass an options object and validate just a property. Okay, and this is it. So here's what happens. First, Cypress will say, do I have a session called has two rooms? If not, run the setup. Next time we run, it will say, do I have a session called has two rooms? Yes. Then it will run validate. And if validate fails any of the Cypress commands and assertion, then it will run setup. All right. So let's check it out. So this ran the first time. Notice the session says new, and it ran through all our preparation commands. 
It even ran validate session after the first run, so it actually confirmed that we have two rooms, and then it ran the body of test. Now let's rerun the test without changing anything. Notice it has a saved session. It ran validate immediately, and because there are two rooms, the names are correct, then it immediately finished and went on to the test. Let's run it again. Very, very nice. Okay. Now, let's say you are unhappy, you want to clear all the sessions, you want to disturb the rooms, just say clear all sessions. And now the session will not be found, and it will go through the setup again. So this is a very convenient way of using size session to prepare the backend data for our tests.